Hey guys, Jay Holly here with Holly Media, and I'm so excited to be back doing another tutorial in Final Cut Pro X. And uh, I don't really know what to call this one, but it is a transitional tutorial, how to transition scenes. So let's dive into it. I'm gonna play you the clip um, and we'll just go from there. So that's it, it's super simple, but as you can see, it was a slide to black and then you popped out in a different location. And I actually have a couple things that I ran into on this tutorial that really helped me nail it perfectly because I didn't even do it that well this time. And I found a couple cheats that we can use together and I'll show you in Final Cut Pro. Um, it's extremely simple, so let's dive in. Okay guys, now we're inside of Final Cut and um, you can probably hear my computer fan having a good old time because I'm using 4K footage from the Shogun and uh, it's just on my laptop so it's having a bit of a heart attack but that's okay we'll, we'll fight through it so here we go here's my pup here's Bentley and he's lying on the couch and here's the first scene he's just sitting there literally doing nothing kind of looks like a potato and um, and here's what we have to to uh, transition from the scene and in this case this is just a chair and I use this black right here is actually just my sweater that I'm wearing in the interview. So very simple, just whatever it takes to get the job done. The next scene is we slide out into something and right here, this is also the sweater, but it was outside and I didn't uh, expose it correctly. And so, um, so now we have this to work with, but now we go to where Bentley's outside on the table. So this was the problem. Let's watch the transition. Sliding in, that looks good. And right there, it's too light, right? You can kind of see that transition where it's just too too bright and doesn't really quite work. So I had to go through here and figure out how to make that work. I tried color correcting it, didn't look so great. What I actually found the best thing for me was, was this graduated mask. So let's apply this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it where it's supposed to go in the center, okay? And now we will line that up. And I actually just keyframed this and it gave me a good um, gave me a good uh, black to transition into. So what I do is I find my starting point, which is right there, and then I'm gonna keyframe down here, and I'm gonna find where I want to move it. I'm gonna turn that off for now. Where I want to keyframe it out. And it's basically right here. So I'm gonna turn this back on, and then I can't see it, can I? All right, let's do fit. And now I'm gonna take it here. And because I turned on keyframing, it's gonna copy my moves, copy where I move it. And I'm gonna keyframe it out right there, okay? So now we'll go back to make it fit the screen and we'll just kind of watch if it worked. Yeah, that worked pretty good. And that was just the first time. So that wasn't even any any maneuvering around, but you can see it's kind of following there. It starts there, kind of falls out. It comes a bit quick, um, but that's okay. So let's just see that. Okay, so you know, that's not terrible. Um, now, watch this, I already have one already made because I'm smart like that. So I pulled the tutorial clip in there and this is all edited and all good to go. Um, right, so watch. This is after I've tinkered with it a little bit, and all you guys are gonna have to make it work and edit it according to your project. Uh, nothing's, it's not gonna be one, one thing fits all here. But as you can see, I literally only just color corrected it and added that little mask, and, uh, and that helped me out. What you'd really wanna do is fade, is have that black already there, like in the first scene. Um, you want to have that that nice black helped me out perfectly because I didn't have to do anything. And then, uh, but worst comes to worst, you can just use this mask, and it fades right into it. And guys, that's that's it. Um, that's all you have to do is just slide behind something that gives you a black, um, and then slide out from something that gives you a black, and you can transition it perfectly. Okay, guys, that's it. 
Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below or you can just go ahead and email me. You'll find that on my website. Uh, that's how a couple guys have gotten a hold of me and uh, I don't mind at all. And I've been able to get back to them quickly because it comes straight to my phone. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and uh, I'll be uploading another one soon.